So, let's get uh, Explosive Unit Alpha. Shuttle, this is low. We're placing the explosive in Quadrant 2. Acknowledged. Could you give me a hand with this brick? I'll be right there, Commander Low. So you can rightly see now, this game is very atmospheric. And uh, most of the time, I, uh, I don't Excellent know, I just... Brink. Ken, the charge is set. Instruments confirm. Hey, I'm just so proud of you boys. Uh, at some moments in the game, I just was listening to the music because I like it so much. And um, look at the pretty red light, boys and girls. I'd say this charge is armed. Yeah, I would say that either. Um, and uh, when I found out that there actually was um, a soundtrack to this game, I just went into the city and bought it. It was some. It took some time to get it, but um, yeah, it's so awesome to hear this music all the time. To being able to hear the music, of course, it's now digitalized for me, and I hear it on my uh, on my computer. But still, um, to put on the second charge, you have to use the shovel on the boulder to get I don't know a better space for the explosion. Cora, I'm jamming the shovel in under the boulder, then using maximum down thrust to pry it up. Does that sound workable? Well, I'm a little short on data about the tensile strength of shovel handles in zero G under maximum thrust conditions. In other words, who knows? It might work. Boss, be careful. If the handle breaks, maximum down thrust will smash you right into Attila. You know the same. Whether the stone hits the glass or the glass hits the stone, it ain't gonna hurt the stone. I didn't Thanks know that saying. Frank, if this actually works, the boulder's going to come flying straight at you. Better fly clear. Thanks for the warning. Phew, and there he goes. Looks like it worked. Now aren't you glad I made sure the tool chest had a shovel in it? My rule is, if you can pick it up, take it with you. Because you never know when you might need it. I have the same rule, Cora. But I thought it only applied to women in bars. If you can pick her up... <laughs> <laughs> Careful, Ken. You don't want to find yourself getting quoted as a sexist pig in Maggie's article. I'm not here to spy on you. Lighten up, Robbins. They're just teasing you. If they thought you were really a spy, they'd never talk freely on the open frequency. Okay, so as we now got the surface here, we just apply an explosive beta on the surface. Shuttle, this is low. Now placing the explosive on the base of the asteroid in quadrant three. Yeah, acknowledged. I need another hand here, Brink. Of course, Commander. Of course, Commander. So here, Brink is probably a German. Oh, coincidence. And I think Maggie, um, I mean the voice over from Maggie, is from Gillian Anderson from uh, Agent Scully from X-Files. Which makes the ga game even more awesome, if you will. This asteroid has a pair of landing lights now, kids. Stick a fork in us, we're done. Who writes your material, Commander? <laughs> I get it all out of the newspapers, Robbins. So, um, so I've played the German version before, and um, the voice over for Robbins is the same uh, voice that is used for uh, Agent Scully in the German X Files. Let's so. head back to the shuttle and watch until do the old fire dance. In the older days, uh, people really used to think about. Uh, voice cast, did they? Of course, it's mainly 50% of the game having the voices right there. So, uh, as we now put on the charges on uh, Attila, we just put the comm on and talk to Borden. This is low. Do you read? I'm here, boss. And talk to him about the nuclear explosives. Both nukes are in place and armed. We made pretty good time, I think. Looks good, boss. Come on back inside for the fireworks. There we go. Inside. All in, Cora. All clear, payload. All clear, landing team. All clear, shuttle. Confirm doors closed. Doors closed. I mean, look at that. This is so amazing. If you think that's just... I mean, that's 14 or 15 years ago that they did that. Uh, I think even for the older days, it was... a pretty neat 
neat looking video there. And the music that comes with it, that's just amazing. The explosives armed. Houston gives us the go ahead. Say when, boss. Do it. Now let's see, is it the big green triangle or the little red circle? Shut up and push, Ken. <laughs> My baby's getting unimpatient. Here we go. Well then, Let's go that's away. what we're going to do then. Let's see what Attila looks like after plastic surgery. Be careful, kids. Attila is more dangerous now than before we tamed him. Those were certainly profound first words to speak on Earth's new moon. I'm not making speeches, Robbins. I'm concerned about keeping everybody alive. Commander, I can collect rock samples later. Right now, I would like to get below the surface down into that tunnel. We're gonna do it eventually. Might as well do it now. You agree, Robbins? I'm game for it. I've called the pig. We'll send it on ahead to light the way. Remember, any rock may be loose, and any wall may collapse at any time. Please be careful, everyone. Cora, send down the pig, please. We'll need the light. Well, at that point of time, I just wonder which kind of words the next as uh, astronaut that will as a first human at all be uh, taking steps on Mars and I tell you what it's not gonna be it's uh, not a small step for a uh, man a giant leap for mankind that's for sure you see anything unusual Brink? it's hard to determine how this tunnel that was formed it wasn't created by the explosion no no it's very ancient the explosions opened the door about this tunnel Old, but not as old as the asteroid. What does that mean? I don't know yet. It just feels uh, unnatural. There are some odd projections near the bottom of this tunnel that don't seem to belong here. Well, then we should just uh, investigate them. So, the only thing that we can do, is, uh, from the fact that we can look at them, is to use the zero, zero G. That's a tongue twister. Zero G digger with the odd projections. I may be criticized for it later, but I'm gonna dig out one of these odd projections. It's your decision, Commander. Well, I will risk it. Look at this, Brink. This can't be natural. Definitely not. A metal plate. Definitely an artifact. An artifact? But who could have put something like this in a tunnel? Yes, yes, I think it's clear. Wherever Attila came from, there was someone there. Could this be part of some kind of message? Like the one NASA put in Voyager? If it's a message, I don't understand it. Whatever it is, we've got to tell Houston immediately. Negative, Robbins. I'm clamping down total security as of this moment. You've got to be kidding. You've been telling me all along you just want to be an ordinary member of the mission. I've had secret orders all along to look for any sign of alien presence on this rock. And now that we've found it, my instructions are clear. What I want to hear from both of you right now is I understand, Commander Lowe. I understand and agree, Commander Lowe. There is nothing to be gained from a premature announcement. Robert. I understand, Commander Lowe. Ken. Ken. Low here. I read you, boss. Tell Houston that I said Attila's a real hunt. What? Is that some kind of joke? Just tell them, Gordon. You'll receive new communication protocols immediately afterward. Oh, cool. This is like a secret code. Just thank Cora. You're the only one in Congress who knows anything about this. Houston says the message is received and they're transmitting new codes. We're getting back to work down here, Ken. Low out. So there are two other art projections. There's a metallic plate. We're gonna take care of that soon. Um, 
first let's, let's dig out the other two art projections.